What's going on? We're back here today with another fantasy basketball mock draft. Today we're doing a 12 team categories league. We have the 10th overall pick. Before we get into the video, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, especially if this video helped you out. So Jokic first, KD second, Giannis third, Luka fourth, Embiid fifth, Harden sixth, Tatum seven, Curry eight, LeBron ninth. Now, two players I do really want to build around. I think they're the perfect pairing together almost is, well, I guess two of these three, actually four, two of these four, would love to get Trey Young, Lillard, LaMelo, or Tyrese paired up together just because the assists, the threes, everything. I think they're just amazing fits to each other. I value Trey Young over LaMelo Ball. Um, LaMelo might get more steals, rebounds. But if I am going with Trey Young, I am going to build a very guard oriented team. And I think I would take Trey Young. The rebounds were really wouldn't matter too much. The assist you love. But hopefully I can get someone like Trey Young and LaMelo or Tyrese or Lillard. So let's see. We're going to grab Trey Young here with the 10th overall pick. So there goes Cat, LaMelo, Ja, another great pick. And Tyrese Halliburton. So I did see um, Lillard here. We're not even to think twice about this. Lillard's our guy here. Kyrie Irving wouldn't be a bad selection here. Deep book. But Lillard's our guy. I think can easily be a top 10 player, top 12 fantasy player. Just because he had a little bit of a down year last year. Uh, he's getting a little underrated, but I think he's in line for a, one of his better seasons with CJ gone and Jeremy Grant back. Jeremy Grant in along with Josh Hart. So there goes Deep book. Anthony Davis, Paul George, Kyrie, DeJounte Murray, Sabonis, Anthony Edwards, Kawhi Leonard, Jimmy Butler, Donovan Mitchell, Chris Middleton, Bam Adebayo, Bradley Beal, Fred Van Fleet, Garland, Pascal Siakam, DeMar DeRozan, and Cade Cunningham. We have a couple of options. Shea Gilligas, Alexander being 1, 26 points, 5.6 assists, 5 rebounds. Solid steal getter, 2 threes, so pretty good. Uh, Zach Levine is also an option 25 points 4 rebounds 4 assists about 3 threes but I think we're gonna go Chris Paul again here pretty similar to last video grabbing Lillard and Chris Paul in the second and third round I just think the assists are way too hard to pass up on with Kyrie no we have Trey and Lillard that's already about what 18 no like 16 assists uh, with them and then Trey uh, what's his name and then Chris Paul would really raise that up i don't will he make it back all right so maybe chris paul will make it on the swing back around so maybe we could take someone like shea here yeah you know what we're gonna do that we're gonna grab shea here because he definitely won't make it back but there's an there's a chance chris paul makes it and if he doesn't there's always someone like drew holiday so rudy gobert goes zion vucevic chris paul so we could grab now as we said drew holiday who's down here 18 points seven assists 1.7 steals doesn't hit the three as much but we have trey young we have lillard we have um shea gilligas they do hit a couple threes shea gilligas not so much but other options here deandre ayton uh just locking a center solid center with decent free throw shooting good score i expect this to go a little bit higher actually this year porzingis as well solid pickup does hit the three could go with him jalen brown and zach levine pretty hard to pass up on these guys as well but I think for our team, Drew Holiday is the better fit. There goes Jalen Brown, Scotty Barnes, Mobley, Aiton, Zach Levine, CJ McCollum, Triple J, Christoph Porzingis, Brandon Ingram, Robert Williams, Miles Turner, Jared Allen, Christian Woods, Sengun, John Collins, De'Aaron Fox. Whoa, he was... I didn't even know he was available. That that would have been a solid pickup as well. Valanchunas, Jakob Pato. Looking at our team, Terry Rozier, Julius Randle is available here. Terry Rozier, obviously solid pickup for us. Going to hit the three a lot. Going to get some steals. Going to get a lot of points put up next to LaMelo this year. Team is really just LaMelo and Terry Rozier. I guess Gordon Hayward as well. But uh, another player I do really like a lot is Desmond Bain. I think Randall could be in line for a kind of a bounce back season. But I think it's time that they shift the team toward RJ Barrett and not Randall. I think I'm going to go Terry here. Uh, I do think we could get someone like Desmond Bain. On the swing back, looking at our team though, again, a lot of guards really missing out on the small forward, power forwards. Could grab someone like Nurkic maybe on the swing back. Could be there. Capella could be there. But again, we do have Lillard and Trey Young. At least Nurkic is a solid playmaker in his own right. Gets a couple of steals. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Terry here and then see if Nurkic makes it through. 
Um, he does not. Capella, Jalen Brunson, Nurkic, and Wendell Carter all go. I guess the best center we could grab now, what is there available? I guess it is Mitchell Robinson, which I don't like too much at all. <laughs> Looking at our roster, still need some forwards, so I think I will grab either OG here instead of Desmond Bain. I do like Desmond Bain more, but I think OG gives a lot in the steals department. Should hit less threes than Desmond Bain, but he's also a small forward, which we do need. So I think I'm going to go OG here. There goes Draymond, Mitchell Robinson, Desmond Bain, Michael Porter Jr., Al Horford, Brooke Lopez, both before Ben Simmons, Kyle Lowry, pretty early, RJ Barrett, Lonzo Ball, Jordan Poole, Kaminga, pretty early, and... PJ Washington, Jalen Smith, definitely early. Devin Vassell, Bobby Portis, pretty early. Julius Randle, and Brandon Clark, another pretty early pick. So I see Miles Bridges here. I mean, Mikal Bridges here. Jamal Murray. A lot of the guards that are usually mainstays in this round. Josh Giddy as well. I'm going to go Tobias just because, again, I want to fill up our small forwards, power forwards. Uh, still missing out on that. And I think we could grab someone like Josh Giddy. On the swing back which would really kind of help us out with another seven assist a game so i'll grab tobias here and josh giddy should make it through yep tyrese zubak mo bamba and claxton so josh giddy made it i think we grab him what centers are available stephen adams uh, i think we're just gonna have like our last pick be a center at this point just because so much value missing we're missing out on we're grabbing josh giddy here there goes benchero clay thompson james wiseman Isaiah Jackson, Mikael Bridges, Isaiah Stewart, Jamal Murray, Akongwu, Durin, Walker Kessler, Kelly Olenek, Jackson Hayes, Rashawn Holmes, Pokusevsky, Hardenstein, Steven Adams, Chris Boucher, Andre Drummond. Like, Drummond should not be going this early. Like, taking Drummond before Keldon Johnson, Jeremy Grant, Sadiq Bey, Jalen Green, Marcus Smart is just outrageous to me. I think we're going to grab Keldon Johnson here again. Been saying it every video. I think I get him in it almost every video. But like, Kelvin Johnson, Ben Simmons, Josh Giddy are, like, mainstays of my team this year. I think they're all in line for a great year. Kelvin Johnson could be a huge, huge pickup. I think he might score more than the 20 points they're projecting for him. So, we're going to grab him. There goes Gafford, Wiggins, Buddy Heald, and Franz Wagner. Another player I really like. We kind of drifted away from our point guards. I think I'm going to head back toward them. Uh, point guards and three-point shooters. Jalen Green's solid pickup with the threes here, but uh, so is Sadiq Bey, also a forward. But the guy I want is actually D'Angelo Russell. 18 points, 7 assists last year. About 2.7 threes and a steal a game. I actually think his assists could go up, his threes could go up this year. Solid, solid pick. Next to Playing next to Rudy Gobert, uh, Kat, and Anthony Edwards. I think he's in line for a good year, so I'm grabbing D'Lo here. There goes Montrez Harrell, Jalen Green, Kevon Looney, Laurie Markinen, Aldama, Sadiq Bey, Miles Bridges, who's not playing at all, Tyler Harrell, Marvin Bagley, Malcolm Brogdon, Marcus Smart, Anthony Simons, Colin Sexton, who should be actually be going higher. Another player that I think is in line for a great year. Herb Jones, Jabari Smith, Westbrook, Kevin Porter, and Gary Trent Jr. Jeremy Grant is here. I think he's a solid get for us. Um, Keegan Murray could also be very solid does hit the three scores pretty well should be the starting power forward in Sacramento Kyle Kuzma is here you usually he goes a lot higher than this I think that since we have Lillard I'm gonna grab Kuzma instead of Jeremy Grant um, other options that make sense Thomas Bryant's not bad Plumlee is uh, McGee's not a bad selection for us either at the center spot we are really gonna miss the center this this draft uh looking at our team still don't have one we have two more picks really before we grab our center so i wouldn't mind grabbing someone like kuzma here and then maybe another point guard before we grab our center like point guards that are still going to be available at that time spencer dinwiddie cole anthony jalen suggs they'll all still be there josh hart's another good selection yeah so let's go kuzma haven't gotten him in a little bit there goes Monte Morris, Trey Jones. We could have got Spencer Dinwiddie, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Monte Morris go. Cole Anthony is here, and so is Jalen Suggs. I think Cole Anthony is the better player as of right now. Jalen Suggs was kind of disappointing last year. Was hurt a little bit, not too much. Uh, let's see who they're suggesting. Jeremy Grant is still here. That's tough to pass. 
yeah, I think we're going Jeremy Grant. Just impossible to pass up on him at this point. Definitely would like Cole Anthony's assist, but I think we have so many assists that actually with Trey Young, Lillard, Shea, Drew, Terry Rozier, Josh Giddy, D'Lo, where we could take some scoring and defense in from Jeremy Grant. And there goes Josh Hart, Keegan Murray, John Wall, D'Anthony Melton, Cole Anthony, Jalen Suggs, Derek White, Mike Conley, Norman Powell, Karis LeVert, Caleb Martin, Jaden Ivey, Reggie Jackson, Evan Fournier, Cam Johnson, Dylan Brooks, Harrison Barnes, and Gordon Hayward. And this is the part where we finally pick up our center. The best center available is Thomas Bryant. There's Mason Plumley. Jave oh, well, we're going to take JaVale McGee, the starting center for Dallas. Could get a block or two a game, maybe a steal, a couple of rebounds. Could kind of help us out in guard versus guard matchup. So we'll take JaVale McGee. There goes Kelly Oubre and Boyan Bogdanovic. Got to be on this draft. Team was Trey Young, Shea, Damian Lillard, OG Ananunbi, Tobias Harris, Keldon Johnson, JaVale McGee, Drew Holiday, Terry Rozier, Josh Giddy, D'Lo, Kaz Kuzma, and Jeremy Grant. I actually think this is a very, very solid team for categories team obviously the ratings a little bit low but i think that's more so because we have javel mcgee as our starting center however the center position kind of doesn't matter to our team yeah we could have grabbed someone like um nurkic earlier or pottle or maybe even wendell carter valanchunas kind of lock in a center that can at least do something but we would have missed out on some solid point guards and, and small four power forwards that really actually contribute to our team so I'm okay with having JaVale McGee as a center. If anything, it could be a streaming position where we just kind of stream through centers or players throughout the week. The rebounds, we're really punting that as well as blocks. So it doesn't really matter. Overall, good team. Don't think really missed out. Maybe Paolo Banchero. I haven't drafted him yet. Wouldn't mind drafting someone like that. Uh, James Wiseman could have been a solid pickup. I don't think he's going to be that good though. Uh, Walker Kessler, I think, is in line for a big year. We could have grabbed someone like him. Al Horford, I guess. But I wouldn't draft Al Horford or Brooke Lopez this early. Could have grabbed someone like Jared Allen or Vucevic. Vucevic is a solid center, I guess, for what we're trying to build. I guess Nurkic as well. But yeah, building a guard team, I tend to just punt rebounds and blocks. And I just focus on everything else. Yeah, But that's all for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys think I reached for anybody too early? think uh, I should have handled some picks differently let me know down below and as always please do leave a like comment subscribe and I'll see you next time